Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, the average age for a list of people. So here I have a list of date of birth. I want to calculate the average age of those people. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this with formulas and I will give you the file which is going to be right below the, the video. You can download it. There's a link. So you can download it and follow with me with all the formulas. So what I'm going to do, um, for each each person, I'm going to compute the, the person's age. So I'm going to use uh, the date of birth, which is actually today, minus the date of birth. Why do I do this? Because actually dates, so today returns the date of today, and uh, the date of birth, actually dates in uh, Excel are just numbers. They are the number of days that have passed since January 1st, 1900. So uh, it's just a number of days. I can make operations on them and I'm going to subtract them. So here, it, this doesn't mean anything because it's a difference between uh, two dates, between today and that date in a number of days. So here, that's number of days. Of days. Uh, I can make the average of that. So I'm going to make average this, and this is the average um, age of these people, but in terms of days. So this is actually uh, a date. So now if I want to express this, uh, this average uh, age, not in days, but in years, for example, I'm going to use the function date diff date diff, which is uh, like a hidden function. It's not um, very well explained in Excel. And I'm going to compute the difference. It, it, the function date diff, it tells the difference between two dates uh, in terms of year, month, or um, or days. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, to make the difference between zero uh, and this number of days, so it's going to tell me the difference between those two. So it's going to tell me in this period, uh, between zero days and 16,000 days, how many years is there? And I have to select the format for that. So it's going to me, it's going to tell me 40, um, four years. And if I want the remainder uh, of month, I'm going to say. I'm going to use the same function date diff, but then I'm going to say YM, which means I want the number of months uh, when you exclude all the full years. So it's going to tell me 44 years and six months, uh, which seems about right. Uh, for 44 years and six months. Uh, and you could add the number of days as well uh, if you. Uh, if you. Um, you use the same formula, but you say I want the, I want to exclude the full month and I keep the number of days. It's going to tell me 44 years, six months, uh, uh, 25 days. So that's a way that you can compute the average age of uh, a list of people. Um, as usual, the file is below, right? The, it's, uh, it's below, right below the video. There's a link for you, so you can download it. And, um, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll be notified as soon as I publish. See you tomorrow, champions. Ciao.